In a previous video, we had discussed this 5-month-old child who was on tuberculosis chemoprophylaxis for the past one and a half months. Now, let us first review what was the clinician's thought process. The clinician kept a possibility of presumptive tuberculosis given the tuberculosis contact and new onset fever and cough. The x-ray done suggested right upper lobe consolidation. As the radiograph was not highly suggestive of tuberculosis, the clinician decided to review the child after a course of antibiotics. The repeat chest x-ray had persistent hyalur lesions. Now let us review this case. Once you come across such a child, the first question that should come up is, if the symptoms clinically suggest active tuberculosis, which would merit further workup? A review of history revealed that the child had coughed for the past 7 to 8 days, which was gradually decreasing over this period. This was associated with fever and coryza during the initial 2-3 days. There was no associated weight loss or decreased appetite. The child's systemic examination did not reveal lymphadenopathy or organomegaly, and the chest examination was normal. Given this scenario, active tuberculosis seems less likely. A resolving viral upper respiratory infection seems more likely. So one way could have been to review the child after 3-4 days for any persistence of complaints. If there were persistent complaints, we could have pursued further evaluation. In this case, the clinician decided to look at the chest radiograph. The chest radiograph was slightly rotated to the right of the patient. This resulted in an apparent slight shift of trachea, carina and the mediastinal structures to the right. The film has expansion of 8 posterior intercostal spaces. There is homogeneous opacity in the right upper zone. If you look closely, this homogeneous opacity has a well-defined lateral edge indicated by these arrows. Just lateral to this edge, we can see the anterior edges of the ribs, which in this radiograph created a false impression that the opacity is filling the whole of the upper zone. The opacity in the right upper zone is due to thymus, which has a well-defined lateral edge. This has been described as the sail sign created by thymus. So what is a sail sign? In this picture, what you see is a boat and its sail. This is the sail of the boat. The thymic shadow in our patient resembles the shape of the sail of the boat. So this was an example of the thymic shadow being misread as consolidation of lung lobe. The child over the next one week, as expected, showed clinical improvement. Now let's look at this chest radiograph. The film compared to the previous film is well inspired and has minimal rotation. The trachea and the mediastinal structures are almost central. Again, if you carefully see, there is homogeneous opacity in the right paratracheal and hyalur region, which has a well-defined lateral edge, but there is no compromise of the airway lumen. These features differentiate it from lung lobe consolidation, which will not have this straight lateral edge or even a hyalur lymph node or a mass. Thus, this case highlights two very important points. Review clinical history well before proceeding to investigate further. A thymus can mimic lymph node or a consolidation on a chest radiograph. Thank you.